Hello and welcome to episode 66 of Chubby Cat. I know we missed last week episode 65. We did record it. We did. It just didn't get it uploaded. It didn't get uploaded. It's crazy. So I'm going to I'm going to say we know we we took a <clears throat> Christmas break. We did. You know, we went strong for 51 weeks of the year. That's pretty good. That's solid. We're allowed a fucking break. It is. We went strong for 64 episodes. So it's, yeah, so it's like, longer than yeah. 50. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, I mean, this year, yeah, obviously. You. But yeah. no, this is the first one we'd actually missed. Yeah, finally. We had, that... like, one episode of that was, like, a day late. Yeah. You know, like, I was like, okay, like, hey, what's up? But, but scheduling <clears> and <throat> the plague just got me down, and I just spaced about it. But it's recorded. So if you're listening to this episode, um, check the feed, because episode 65 is probably up there as well. Um, so we'll start the year with a double whammy double, for you. Double episode. Double episode. Double down. Double down on some chubby fucking cat. Mm-hmm. Mm, Which look is beautiful. At, look at them chubby cheeks just getting right in between them furs. Okay, wait. There you go. Wait, I want to throw up now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, you're the one who described it. Yeah. Oh my god, you guys. <laughs> anyway, it's me, Tom. Hey god. Sorry, it's me, Jason. And it's Sterling. <clears throat> go ahead. We just got... Uh, request to join Pokemon Master San Diego chapter. Who? Really? Like someone to join our chapter? Yeah, Rene Alejandro Buelna. Wow. Five hours ago. Five hours ago? Jesus. This YouTuber is in some deep... (laughs) Wow. (laughs) Professionalism. Uh, At its finest. (laughs) Anyways, did you accept it? I mean, how many members do we have now? I remember that grew pretty. F- so it did grow for like pretty good pace. So this was a group that we made right when Pokemon Go came you out. You guys remember that game, Pokemon Go? Yeah, I still um, play. Sterling does still play. Yep, he invested some money. It's it's something. I don't remember what it was called. What was it called? Dedicated Pokemon, Pokemon Masters of San Diego chapter. Yeah. Okay, so I'll approve. Pokemon. And then and then let's see how many we have. Let's see. Uh, so we made it because a lot of us were going out and playing Pokemon, and we were getting like a lot of people joining. When we yeah. Played. We have 207 members. Yeah, it grew pretty hard for a while. Mm -hmm. And apparently this guy just got his first smartphone and decided, like, oh. (laughs) I'm going to play some Pokemon Go. I could be a Pokemon master. Wait, wait, one second. Because this group's reminding me now of who that fucking asshole was that just kept posting all of his shit about his crazy po Thomas Michael Huans. I Probably shouldn't it. say your name, real name, but, but you did. <laughs> but I did. Also said but you just called too. Too. Yeah. So, what? I also said the other guy who requested to join. Uh, anyways, mm. look them up on Facebook. Hit them up. But yeah, that guy. Every time you would catch a po, he just he's, any Pokemon. Basically, it was like we started the group, and then I feel like he posted. Like I'm screen. I'm going through the the stream right now. It's him, and it's all just Thomas. I mean, admittedly, the Dragonite and the Lapras are pretty cool. I still haven't caught those. Yeah. So fuck me. Or any of the legendaries yet. There are now three generations worth out, and I have yet to catch a legendary Pokemon. I've deleted the app and oh. never looked back. Yeah, the whole raid system. It's right. a little. It's a. It's terse. Real quick, can we just um, let's do let's do some house cleaning to begin with. So we missed the first that episode last week, but we're doing a double down this week. Yeah. Um, homebrew <laughs> heroes. Homebrew. At, we're about a month behind, and viewerships. I don't know if you're a viewer or listener of homebrew heroes. We have, we have a few episodes in the bank, and we just need to get together and record some more. Yeah. But we're also talking about possibly going to seasons for that, you know, kind of yeah. recording, <clears throat> doing, like, you know, a bunch of episodes, <clears throat> and then taking, like, a few months off and doing it just so. Because adult life's crazy, so yeah. we're trying to figure shit out. But And Dungeons & Dragons is very involved. I mean, basically, it's another life. It really you is. Lead. You have to lead. It really is. Well, and not only that, but, I mean, with Thomas's schedule right now, his days off, they're going to be, like, Wednesday, Thursday? Yeah. And, oh three no sorry four of us are saturday sunday and my wife is sort of like when she can like, she normally is off like weekdays works the weekends yeah and then sterling theoretically is weekends but right now is just off because he's dying yeah perpetually yeah, that's basically it. yeah so we're figuring it out still but please you know Listen to it. Let us know how you're liking the campaign. If you listen to it so far, what can we tweak before we come back and record some more episodes? But it's mm-hmm. still alive. Um, yeah. Just don't want you guys going anywhere. We're working on it hard, and I don't want you guys to freak out. We're I have still... a godly weapon. Prepare. Yeah. And we're still trying to figure out GoGo Podcast Rangers. Yeah. For the same reasons. For the same reasons, mm-hmm. yeah. We're having a hard enough time keeping up with just with one. just our two podcasts yeah. that we're doing. Like, But with that said, real quick, can we just appreciate this picture of our cast member? The reason I yeah. brought up Homebrew yeah. Curios is uh so trish and matt 
from Home of the Heroes are back into WoW. And there's literally a picture of Triss sitting on the couch on her really nice laptop with baby in lap asleep, like nursing on her tit. Why she plays WoW. Yeah. I'm I didn't downloading know that, the patch. I didn't know that they were into, back in. Yeah, they started today or yesterday. <gasps> I was going to tell you tonight before you left. I'm oh, back in too. Oh my God. I'm, I'm patching up. Real quick, you guys. Real quick. I'm so um, scared. To be fair, my subscription never lapsed. Yeah. I'm, I, I'm I like the just instant gratification of just like. <laughs> um, I got some money. Oh, I got like, money. is it time for me to buy like my master PC that I've been wanting to buy? Yes. And fucking, it is. Stop like, asking. I'm like, scared. I'm scared. Okay, this is not like a gloat. <laughs> Let's do it tomorrow. But I mean, like, yeah, I could. I have the cash. You have the cash. But, like, as you know, my father passed away. Yes. But I got some. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. But I was. Supposed, I want to save it for a car. Take half and put it away for a car. Then you still have enough to buy your master PC. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, all you need it for a car is a down payment. Yeah. All right. And if you go to Team Kia of El Cajon, you can lease two for two twenty two. dollars Whoa! That's what I uh, Are they still running that? I don't, <laughs> I don't know. know. Fun fact. Know. So I want a Nissan, as you guys know. They're getting rid of the Juke, and they're replacing it with the Nissan or the Rogue Sport. Yeah. Like, so they're not making Jukes anymore. How I know this is... uh. One of the guys I work with. How how do we put that? Coworker? No, because <laughs> no. it's not a coworker. Oh, I I just don't know if I'm allowed to talk about yeah, his personal I, life. Let's say like an like an acquaintance through work. I guess. Yes. Say that. Yeah, acquaintance through work. Works at Nissan, and uh, found that out there because he had his business card, and I was like, oh, cool. And I was is there just like lack of interest in the Juke or no? There's like the the Nissan or the Rogue Sports kind of like fills that same role in their like yeah. line of cars yeah so there's kind of replace uh, and i mean the guy talks up and really nice and stuff and then i was just joking about him because like okay well like i want to buy a car but i was gonna go to that one because they have the most choice but now i can't go there yep. so he's like you can still come and i'm like no in a no. year i see you in a year yeah. once you're out of here for a year then yeah yeah so yeah. i was like i'll see you next may or whenever you know i also yeah. a friend who works at nissan yeah nice you All should right. yeah Look yeah but his, apparently his, USAA will also negotiate a deal for Anthony me. Anthony DeBarros. Okay. Uh, he's like an old coworker of mine, like from Geico, and he went over here and uh, cracked that cold one. Cold one. He always says, uh, especially like at the end of the month, he's like, "Yeah, I gotta sell one more car. I'm willing to make some crazy deals." Yeah, dude. If you ever see that post, like, <clears throat> give so me, that. give me like three more months. Yeah. So I can get like a hefty, nice, mm-hmm. like little egg, kind of like saved up, and I'm trying to pay off some like other bills that are like miscellaneous. But then, fuck yeah, man! I'll be like, <laughs> yeah. Where he's like, he's like, I'm motivated to sell. Are you motivated to buy? Like, I'll come let's do this. Like, like, I will, I will get you your car. Right. I'll be like, like, here's this. I want to pay only 150 dollars payment. He's so a good guy. But I'll, like, pay, like for, I'll pay. I'll pay. I'll pay for 30 years. I don't care. I don't want to pay for 30 years. He I don't and his care. he and his wife were actually commenting on Trisha's post because they used to uh, be on the same team. I think, or maybe neighbors. Nice. I think they were on the same team. But I've known Anthony since like he started at Geico, and uh, he's a good dude. His wife worked there for a little while too, and they're both. Good people. So, nice. so we're going to Fry's good tomorrow people. to buy a computer? No, you have a date tomorrow, don't you? No, it was going to be tomorrow. Oh, but, but then it's Friday. Friday. Cool. Because tomorrow's kind of a weird. Like Wednesday, it was kind of a weird Wednesday day. Wednesday was a little weird. But everything's on my Mac. <clears throat> doesn't matter. Yeah, I like the world. Burn it down. Burn the whole world down. Okay, don't get a laptop, by the way. Yeah. Why would I get a laptop? I'm just saying don't. Don't do it. I just get a PC. Yeah, yeah. thank you. But I just couldn't bring it, like, it would be a bitch to bring it over and play, though, like well, a LAN yeah. party. Yeah, but you don't, like, LAN party PCs. I mean, we used to, but... Back in the day. I mean... That was way back in the day. Yeah. It's true. It's so, kind of, it's challenging. I mean, yeah. I guess if you got a, a really nice laptop Gaming like what laptop. Trish has, mm-hmm. like, sure, but then, at the same time, like, it, it has a definite no. shelf life. No, because definitely know, like, what I... If I if I was gonna put the money into PC, yeah, I definitely want something where it's an editing suite where I can fucking yeah do then some horse work and then PC. also PC like because I don't I like I like I prefer console gaming to PC gaming yeah but you know like you have like WoW or the few games where I'm like oh yeah like I like to jump in for like a while and then kind of hop out yeah fuck dude okay. maybe I should buy a PC I've been I've been wanting to be like okay I'm gonna buy myself one you've nice been talking thing. about it for like a year, a year. Yeah. yeah if not more. Longer than some tattoos you've chosen. Yeah. So okay, maybe instead True. of a tattoo, I'll put that. 
towards PC. It'd be cool. But It'd be I cool will, to have you back in a while. But I will be putting money in my savings before we do this adventure. <laughs> yeah, Yo, oh, of yes. course. Oh, because I'm like... <clears throat> if you don't, it disappears. You know, yeah, I'm like, I'm just going to keep spending it. Um, fuck, okay. <clears throat> what am I going to do with my old iMac now, then? I don't know. We'll use it for porn? <laughs> <laughs> maybe, I, maybe instead of... I'll just use that as in my editing sleeve until like it just gives out like I have nothing on it but editing software yeah there you go because I just replaced the hard drive it's like three terabyte you know oh yeah or you know how I mean how does it run I know it's a little older but oh I mean there's some things like I couldn't play games on it anymore like the yeah. video, the video yeah. card can't handle it crashes um but editing wise like it's fine yeah I'll just turn that into your editing software yeah but if I got a new PC I could probably do some streaming shit yeah how um do you know how much it's like worth at this point my iMac? Yeah, like if you're gonna oh, turn it around and sell probably it. Two hundred, four hundred dollars, not a lot. <laughs> not a lot. A, I got it oh nine. Yeah. So I mean oh, wow. I was just curious. Yeah. Full nine years ago. Yeah, I got it right before the IMAX, like they came out with the IMAX where it's like they were thinner, like flat on the back. And yeah, it wasn't so boxy. Yeah. Pretty good. Mm. I seem to buy whenever I buy an Apple computer. I always buy it this like right before like the new thing comes out. Next generation. Like when I got my MacBook Pro, yeah, I got it like two months before like the new MacBook Pros came out. I'm like what the fuck? And yeah. To be fair, like they're coming out new things all the time. All the time. Yeah, that's, so, literally, it's tough that's to, literally. It's Apple. tough to be like on the curve. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, I was just wondering like what the resale value for yeah. would be. It's not it's not crazy, but yeah. Well, I'll save it, make it an editing, editing slave or something. Yeah, yeah. There you Partly go. just because also Adobe, what we use to edit this and stuff. Yeah. I have set up for Mac right now. Yeah, that makes sense. And the deal I'm in, it's like, yeah, so keep it. Wipe the things that you don't need off it anymore. <clears throat> yeah, yeah just, it's a lot. Yeah, there you go. That's going to suck, dick. I have a lot of hard drives, that are, external hard drives that are Mac. I don't know, I'm going to have to like move over to like a PC hard drive and then reformat. Yeah. Very nerdy so, and involved. Gotcha. Yeah. Word of warning. Windows uh-huh. 10 kind of sucks. Great. That being said, I mean, if you get a nice PC, like it's you can overlook it. It doesn't like, matter. Yeah. Yeah. It just, I I I miss Windows 8 a lot. Or no, seven. seven. Sorry, Windows I hated. Seven. I hated. Yeah, it. No. Eight was very bad. The last yeah. time I owned a PC, was when was XP was around. So. Oh wow. XP was good. Yeah, yeah I loved actually. XP. So that's my yeah. last. That's my last mess around with uh, Windows. Yeah, mm-hmm. seven was really good, but you can't buy it anymore. Like they don't even, you can't even buy like the operating system to like override it. And yeah, I'm sure you could like on eBay or something, you know. But like Microsoft doesn't sell it anymore. They're just like Windows 10 is the future. I'm like, is it? Is it though? Is it though? Is okay. it though? Could you guys cool. come up with something new terrible. already that really? So real talk, are we going to fries? Yeah. Yeah. Because if not. I was gonna also try to set up a date, but probably date probably won't happen. Friday most likely will happen. <laughs> okay, I mean, give the date a try. If it happens, yeah, hundred percent. Awesome. Doesn't if, if, then... the, if the day works, do right. the date. I'll, I'll, you know, I'll do this right. I'll do it live. We'll do it live. Okay. We'll do it live. <laughs> Hell yeah! All right. So, so I'm gonna be like, hey, do you want to get a drink tomorrow? If not, I'm gonna go to Fry's. <laughs> <clears throat> Just say yes. Do you want to get a drink tomorrow? I have some plans, but. Like, I'd be willing to... I, I would put you... I'll make room. Yeah. Like, I would make room for you or something like that. You know, like... I would choose you <laughs> before these plans. Like, maybe saying I'm going to Fry's for, a, like, a WoW computer, like a gaming computer. Mm-hmm. No, don't, like, don't lead with that. No. It, isn't, it isn't, like, a strong lead, you know, but, like... But if we get it, do you just want to come over and help me set it up? Fuck yeah. yeah. It's easy, though. Cool. I will say one thing about, like, Windows 10 as far as, like, setup. It just it just sets up, like... Yeah. Really that. easy. It's really easy to set up. Just some of the interface stuff is like eh. more complicated than it needs to be. Like mm-hmm. they tried to kind of bridge like Windows Seven and Windows Eight, and it was just like I didn't need this. We didn't need that bridge. Okay. That being said, yeah, it's no. like my my Omen that I have. Mm-hmm. I mean, it, it boots up in like ten seconds. And it's a solid. It's a solid state, and yeah. also, is it just solid state? No, it's it's a hard drive and solid state. Nice. Um, Sexy. But, I mean, it, it boots up instantly, and, like, I had to, like, pick my language and, like, make, like, name my computer tower or something and, like, set up my password, and it was like, all right, you're good. Hmm. So it was it was super easy to, like, get in and get going. Nice. Okay. 
<clears throat> I also don't have a stand for my tower, so it's got to sit on the floor. Isn't that bad for it? Not really. Like on the carpet? No. I mean... We can buy you a couple bricks if you want and just set it on top of that. Yeah, it, mm. it's not ideal if like it's really like dirty and like it gets like like the vents get clogged up or stuff, you know? Like you yeah. you want it to be able to breathe, I yeah. guess is like the biggest thing. Like you want it to be ventilated properly, but like if you're setting it on a shag, mm. it might not be the best way yeah. to go, but right. otherwise it's but I've, so I've had mines on the floor for years sometimes. Yeah, it's just been so long since I've had a tower. My computer's has always been Welcome back. Welcome back. Tomorrow. Wallet. My wallet already hurts. Yeah, you know what's right. You should see though. Um, we'll look at it afterwards. Yeah, fries. Cause I'm sure they're having like new deer deal. Fries. Oh yeah, I'm sure. When I bought my tower though, fries had a a deal where it was um like no tax. Oh shit. Oh. Yeah, that alone's huge. For those of you who don't know, taxes in Southern California suck. <laughs> also, if you want to wait or just ask Dad tonight. Oh yeah, about the and about going on. Well, since going on base, and you can, there's no tax there. Yeah, I would say the yeah base. So that might also be a good, e- good route to go. But I don't know like what their selection would be. Yeah, like as it's much. like so that, broad. I, yeah, I don't know. I'm sure he would have a better idea. Yeah, I'll, I'll chew his ear a little bit. Yeah. Um. <laughs> yeah, because I bought some bought some stuff for my switch yesterday. Mom was like, "How much did you spend on this?" And I was like, "I was like one seventy. Like I had my two hundred dollar gift card, yeah. whatever." She's like, were they like Best Buy specific gift cards? I was like, no, they were just my Visa one. She's like, you know, we could go on base and there's zero tax. I'm like, oh, I always forget about, that. Uh, let's forget about base. She always brings it up to after the fact. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, like uh... okay, cool. Well, I'm already sitting here playing. So... You know, I never. Yeah, I'm like, what's done now? <laughs> I never think about that. My grandparents go on base and buy stuff all the time. Yeah, my mom and dad do too. I'm just like, how did I never do it? Boom. So, hope the New Year's treating you well. I was wondering if you were free tomorrow night and wanted to grab a drink. Nice. There you go. Boom. See, dude, I don't know where this new 2018 Tom came from, but he's confident, and his dick is one inch shorter. So maybe you lose dick size, lose a little. but you gain confidence. Well, you also got a new job. So. I did get a new job. And where you... Where uh, I'm actually... I don't know. I think I'm doing well. You're doing well. Everyone, I mean, so far... You seem to be doing well. I, I mean, seem to be I, confident. Like, yeah. The only, thing, the only thing that's bugging me is... um, So when we got trained, right? Mm-hmm. New... This is uh, so literally. So they were asking. I'm about to tell three stories in one story. It's all so it's going to revert back to why I think I'm doing okay. So we got presents. Mm-hmm. They're water bottles from Selena and Jason that have like the Homebrew Hero logo on it. And then each character, like it's personalized to each of our characters, right? So like yeah. I have a potion bottle. You have um, your, I have the godly bow. Yeah, your Artemis bow <clears throat> and stuff like that, right? So um, one of my coworkers was asking about it. And then she asked me, they all, because, like, I normally wear my sleeves, like, here. Mm-hmm. So, like, this tattoo is covered, because I don't want, really, participants yeah. to ask me about that. But, you know, they see this the one. bird, for those of you who are not yeah. in the room. room, room. <laughs> so, they, I mean, they see the 20-sided die. Yeah. And, you know, some guys are like, oh, you're a gamer? And I'm like, yeah, you know, like, do this and that. And, um, and so my coworker was asking me about it. And I'm like, yeah. And I was like, oh, yeah. And I do, like, a podcast, you know, where we play. Oh, yeah. Well. And she's like, oh, what's it called? Like, I like podcasts. I'll listen to it. I'm like okay okay so like i told her about that and then but then i was like but there's gonna be another podcast that's gonna be like when you download this one it's gonna recommend to listen to this one chubby cat and i was like i prefer none of my coworkers listen to chubby cat and <laughs> oh they're like, all gonna listen to that one then right man. and she was like why and i was like oh no it just tends to be more raunchy like humor if that makes sense like i don't i just don't want you to come in and be like you sick yeah fuck. like skewed i'm like yeah. it's a very you know me at work and me off the clock is two yeah, very is two different people. We are yeah. two different people. Very two different the people. Tie, you know, I was trying to explain. The tie gets removed. Yeah, yeah. so I was trying to explain and to her. sometimes like, wrapped around the head. Yeah, like me here, I'm very professional. You know, I'm very like, hey, like, let's right. the, yeah, let's yeah. get the job done. But on the mic, not that. Like, <laughs> I, will, I will say some shit. Yeah, I'm like, will you take $2 million and lick 100 sweaty assholes from a gym? You know, like. This is literally a question he asked. Literally a question I asked Michael. today. Yeah. But, I yeah. said no, so I said yes. I said yes. yes. Um, <laughs> but, oh, the other one I was asking that Selena cut me off because she didn't like it. $600,000. Mm-hmm. We have to lick Oscar's infected ear, butthole, and penis. No, wouldn't do it. That is not Could enough money. Could have stopped at the ear. Yeah. No, it still would have been a no. Yep, would have been a hard no. I mean, he is a great dog, but that is... My favorite dog. <laughs> I will not. <laughs> oh, 
I barely I have trouble touching him sometimes with my hand. This is true. <laughs> and I and I try I don't not know why that you specifying with my hand made that like yeah. so much more weird. weird. Yeah. yeah. But, but then to put my tongue yeah. on I have trouble touching him with my hand. <laughs> and, yeah. yeah. It's just it's it's true. I mean I love him. He's a good dog. He's a filthy, disgusting he animal, though. He's disgusting. He's a, he's a filthy boy. Yeah. Against against all endeavors to the contrary, mm-hmm. he remains just like the pig pen of dogs. Yeah, yeah. he really, really does. Love so him I, to death. I do pet him because he deserves my love and respect. Because man, the dog just has survivability. But yeah. does he's around? He is. He's an ancient one. Mm-hmm. He is. He's like mostly blind now. He will too. teach. He will teach you magic of the old ways. Yep. You have um, to get it filthy, though. Oh, my God. Sorry, speaking of fucking Bassett magic right now. Okay. So, went over yesterday and hung out just like at Such's house. And um, brought my Switch. We watched uh, Mike and Dave meet Wedding Dates. It was pretty good. Good movie. Yeah. I hadn't seen it before, so it was enjoyable. And then uh, just kind of chilled for a bit. And Oswin, their Bassett hound, kept... Stealing, she loves vegetable, vegetables, vegetables, vegetables. Let's say veggies and uh-huh. vegetables. Yeah, they came out with vegetables. <laughs> I like it. But she loves vegetables, like, and so she kept stealing off the veggie tray. Okay, <laughs> and awesome. so like she would like walk by like the table because they were on like the little like the coffee table like, area, the coffee yeah. table, like where Selena was like munching on them, and she would just kind of walk by and like stop and just kind of like tilt her head a little bit and then go, <laughs> and like. Like reach over like upside down and like grab a piece of broccoli and like just like run away, and she did it like fourteen times. She cleared out like half the vegetable tray. <laughs> Fuck celery, broccoli, bell peppers, like anything she get her hands on. She ate her dinner like her body weight. Yeah, in like vegetables. And then I walked over. I went over there today to pick up my um, controller that I left there because it was charging on the kitchen, and I was like, oh, fuck. um, and like I was there for like two minutes and like. In the confusion of me walking in and Ashley losing her mind, she just like walked past like Katie's snack bowl and grabbed an entire piece of string cheese and just like ran up. Gone. Matt was like, "What the fuck?" He's like, "I've never had another animal that is devious." Yeah, yeah. just being like, like mine. <laughs> but I mean, like, at least she's eating like healthy snacks, right? Yeah, it's true. But like, chooses her moments. Like she does, like, and like mine. She'll try to be like all stealthy and be like, "No one's looking." That's my mouth. It was it was insane. Like she's trying to get an apple out of the bowl, like an apple slice. <laughs> okay. But then she realized the string cheese was there, and she abandoned. She like smacked her nose and like tossed the apples everywhere and like <gasps> scattered the string cheese and bounced. Like she like smoke screened. <laughs> All right, we are free to get a computer tomorrow. Okay, okay, there we go. Cool. Fucking bassets, dude. Yeah, it was the craziest thing I've ever witnessed, and it just it just been happening for the last like twenty four hours, just watching Oswin. Take all the snacks. Mm-hmm. Um, I have a Tom-like question that I've been saving, been sitting on for literally the last like four episodes. Yeah, go for it. All right, <clears throat> let me uh, pull up my my device. Okay. So I had to write it down because remembering anything off the top of my head, uh, probably not the best thing for me to try and do right now. Good. All right. <clears throat> so, in this scenario, um, you. Have to give up one of your senses, or else everyone you know and love dies. Oh, it's easy. What yeah. sense? What? Well, oh, what, I one? thought this. What sense do you give up? I mean, do you give up your sense of touch? Do you give up your sense of smell? You can make a point for like your sense of like a sixth sense and like the sense of impending doom and danger, so you're not afraid of things. No, that's Sterling thinking. You're like, I'm giving my sixth sense. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I mean, no. I'm just saying. No. You, I said you can no. make an argument for, it, yeah. but yeah. So you know, uh, no, I'd give up taste. You give up taste. You would give up taste. Mm-hmm. I would do for the s- rest of your days. Yeah, yeah. I would do smell. I could do smell. Mm. But then, like, yeah. I mean, that's like I feel like that's kind of like a shitty one. Like, oh, because you're like, oh, smell, whatever. But that's so much. Mm. That's... You also lose like a lot of taste with smell. Yeah. The reason I give up taste is specifically like I have a complicated relationship with food, <laughs> being a larger male. <laughs> I understand. And I'm like, if everything tasted the same, I'd be like, it'd just be fuel, you know? Like, yeah. Like, it would take a little bit of, like, joy to eating, but, like... It would take I, a lot of joy out of eating. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> obviously, it'd, it'd pretty much take all of it, I guess. But, yeah. like, I, like, in the moment, I'm like, yeah, like, let's get some Popeyes or something, you know? Or, like, oh, let's 
let's go to McDonald's or whatever. You know where I'm like, this is probably not the best choice, but like that sounds really good. But then like afterwards, I'm like, it's done. You know, it's gone. Yeah. So, and I I'm like a kind of a picky eater too. So like, okay, I can see where that. I'm like, you know what? Like it, it's not that I'm just like, oh, I'd prefer this over this. Like I just don't like a lot of foods. So it kind of like I've gotten a lot better as I've gotten older, but I'm still like pretty picky about kind of what I eat and stuff. So. I'm like, if it was just all fuel, I think you guys live a lot healthier life. <laughs> okay. Or Dude. like, you know what? Like, also, if you didn't have taste, you could like lick Oscar and get that six hundred thousand. <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> <no. laughs> you could get that, that six thousand. I mean, I'd also probably get like some sort of infection though. So oh yeah, it's, it's not ideal. But you would have six hundred thousand dollars <laughs> to take care of it. You, you know what? That that one hundred thousand could get could a little bit of a copay, and we're yeah. all right. I got I got insurance. I got insurance. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. insurance. Uh. Then that butthole challenge would be a lot easier too. Just saying, <laughs> <laughs> the two million for a hundred strangers. Oh man, yeah. yeah. So oh, yeah I guess that's my reasoning. I'm yeah. like, it'd probably make for like a better me. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Even if I'd be a little sad that I couldn't enjoy like a really nice steak or something anymore. You, know? <laughs> you okay, Tom? Did you just almost you throw up? A lot of buttholes? <laughs> I, just, I just upped the butthole challenge <laughs> to not buttholes, but something way worse. I mean, what's worse? I was collecting myself. <laughs> I'm not sure. I don't. Thomas just almost threw up. In, yeah. in the room. I can't even think. About I think I could worse. be like a producer of a Japanese game show. Oh you, yeah, you easily. Be. All right. Sick fuck. Toilet. The pipe does not lead to the sewer, but leads to your mouth. The more people you let shit in your mouth. The more money you get, a hundred thousand dollars for every person that shits in your mouth. I still feel like it's not enough. You don't have to eat it. They just got It's just gotta go in your mouth. You can spit, but <laughs> it's still letting someone shit into but your mouth. But basically, the way I got there was like, oh man, like that hundred hundred butthole challenge would be really easy <laughs> until you got to like that one really big person that's just been working out real good. Harry, and it's just hairy, and they don't, saying, they can't really wipe well, you know, because they can't get around. All the flexibility. Oh. So you know, you need to get down there, and you're just like, Ugh. and then that made me think of like them sitting on the toilet, and then that made me think of, what if there was no pipe, and they basically just shat straight into your mouth. Oh, the, the places your That's mind rough. goes really disturbs me sometimes. Yeah. Oh, Trump's America, man. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> More wow. Queasy over here. There's an interesting <laughs> tagline. Right. Make America great again. Sorry, so speaking of some wild shit that I've seen within the last 24 hours, you want to talk about what just happened in Breath of the Wild? Oh. Like, right oh, before we started? Please. It had me almost in tears. Fucking stupid piece of shit. <laughs> hate that game. I'm fucking... So, I've only been playing the game off and on for a month, I guess. And where Jason's at in the game, where I'm at in the game, I would say I'm weapon poor, I'm arrow poor... <laughs> I have, I have eight hearts. No, I think I only no, have five hearts. You have five, five hearts. hearts. I have man. five hearts. That's how that's how good I am in the game right now. And uh, you probably put like five or six hours in. Like yeah. it doesn't have like a ton of time invested yet. Yeah. And like you know, I'll get like a, I'll kind of get a good weapon and it breaks, and then I have to go back to like using a club or like a stick spear. And like I'm just very familiar with those weapons. <laughs> yeah. you use the <laughs> stick spear. It sets it on fire on occasion. Yeah. You know? So yeah. then I was running over. Um, a tower to go activate or a bridge, bridge to go to a tower to activate like more of the map um some tower or bridge of hayroll or something and then i was going and i just hyrule? got hyrule it wasn't hyrule though oh okay no because the hyrule is pretty easy to like yeah. distinguish. it was yeah. it was different like hey rule hey rule hey rule i think i just thought of my new yeah let's <laughs> say um, rap name but anyways ran up on some uh, lizard dudes and I just got a brand new uh, silver broadsword or steel broadsword, and I was like, "I'm gonna fuck these bitches." And then, kind of find out they were they were not fuckable. They were, they <laughs> they were nope, tough. not not at all. Like, threw Thomas an, got I threw like a headshot it. with a with a, like his bow and arrow, and yeah. it, like didn't even phase it. Like I was like, "Oh fuck that!" So then I was like <laughs> running away, and as I was running away, a dragon came out of like the the, the lake. Yeah, that was underneath. underneath. Early near Jace. Jason saw a dragon, the fire dragon. I was like, oh. So he saw that. He's like, oh, I took a picture. I was like, okay. And all day I've been struggling with buttons, where they're located. Yep. Because yeah. for some reason Nintendo's sick and just like <laughs> fucking switches the A and the B and the X and the Y. Because, you know, you're used to Xbox. So then I'm like, okay. And then like hitting the controllers and shit. So basically I select my camera. And Three then I'm times. like, 
<laughs> and I go to select. Keep selecting yeah. his power like the camera. The camera. He's like trying to activate it that way. And then instead of hitting left trigger, <laughs> I pull down right trigger and I pull back my sword and I let go because I'm like, oh shit, wrong button. And my sword just goes. And I throw it off the bridge. Just, just throws it. And I just, run up. We just stand there. He like jumps <laughs> at the edge of the bridge. I jump to the bridge and just, just like, watch it. Stand on the crenellation and it just spirals into down the water. The <laughs> and it's just silence. We're all three. Just silent. Yeah. The Link avatar is staring down a little, <laughs> looking just absolutely defeated. Haven't used that sword yet. It was a brand new sword. <laughs> he looks up, successfully pulls out the camera, snaps a photo. And like it just is silent, and he like goes back and equips like his boomerang. And oh like, yeah, I put my boomerang on. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Only would have been better is if he pulled out the stick spear. Yeah, <laughs> yeah really. Yeah, I didn't have a stick spear at that time. Yeah, <laughs> didn't even have that. But no, my that luck. I'll, it out very no, my well. luck. I'll do that with the fucking master sword for sure at some point <laughs> in the game. Like. It was it was incredible <laughs> it was just, yeah. to watch, and it, it wasn't even, like it was just pure accident. It was pure like yeah. oh, I hit the wrong button, let go. And I was like, oh. <laughs> I, sh- I shouldn't have let go. I, sh- I should have turned around. I should have just thrown myself off the bridge. should have just thrown myself off after my sword. Yeah. <laughs> Kill me. Oh, my God, dude. It was, it was probably the most joy I've ever felt watching Breath of the Wild. And I watched that video of the girl that got killed by the treasure chest. <laughs> that was pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, Jason's been gig- giggling me up all day playing that fucking game. <laughs> yeah. just sitting there, I'm like, I don't, well, remember, I don't remember how to play it. He didn't remember how to play, and then he was trying to find his way back to, like, I was like, because he had two arrows. All he had to his name were two electric arrows. Yeah. And I'm like, how are you so arrow like, I use them, I'm like, just go back to town and, like, buy some, restock them. He's like, I don't have any rupees, I'm like, just sell shit. Like, I don't have any rupees. So no. He was like, okay, like. Can I warp the town? Like, well, you only warp the shrine, but there's shrine in town. And he was like, the shrine, <laughs> the shrine in town? I was like, well, you got the shrine in town, right? He was like, <sighs> <laughs> So he, like, warped to, like, four different shrines that were, like, kind of around the town. But, like, none of them could get him there. No. Nope. And he hadn't activated any towers, so he had no map. He just had, like these like shrines that you could see <laughs> just, around there's the like town. marks like, like around and i was like <laughs> how do you get around this place <laughs> in the vicinity of- yeah and i was like this map is useless <laughs> and like, i was like look at activate that tower yeah i was looking at see. jason's map i'm looking at my map and i was like there must be like an unlock in the game <laughs> yeah, when you miss when you like level up because i'm like i'm fucking lost <laughs> i was like just go hit that tower real quick and it'll show like you can see the layer of land and he's like wait that's what the towers do i'm like yeah that's what they all do and he's like oh god <laughs> Yeah, when you activate one, you see the path, it goes straight up. I'm like, <laughs> fucking A. So it it just was quite the endeavor. It took to... me like two and a half hours just <laughs> to get some more to get some more arrows. Versus, <laughs> versus his quest to get to the tower like, was quite impressive. Yeah. And then he finally got there and was able to like circle over and, and do it. But fucking... oh my god, it was just Yeah. It was just shifts and giggles the whole way. <laughs> oh, Breath of Wilds, fuck you. <laughs> Um, real quick, I want to talk about this crazy shit that happened today. Okay. Um, you might know a little YouTuber known as Logan Paul. Fuck Logan Paul. Um, come on. Made this, made his fame on Vine. Jumped over to YouTube. Um, but you guys know what he did today, right? No. That like, all right, Anna, fucking, um, that's causing a bunch of hubbub. So the guy does... You know, some crazy stuff. Like, he did something where he basically has a... is Either his best friend or his roommate, who's a little person, they put him in a suitcase, awesome. and then um, they flew to Europe. Okay. So, basically, a little person was in the underdeck of the cargo. Place, oh, I've seen that video. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's Logan Paul. Can I? Oh. Yeah. He survived? Yeah, luckily. Oh, okay. I don't think... I think it was a hoax. Yeah, it has to be a hoax, uh, but, right? Yeah. Like, cause, it was like, fun. It was a funny video. Um... <laughs> A little tasteless, but funny. yeah. So there's yeah. that. But uh, so in this new video, he goes. He's in Japan, and he's in the um, you know, the suicide. Oh, forest. okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And uh, they're talking about suicide and things. And Logan has always had a little kind of a racialish kind of like thing to some towards some ethnicities, I would say. But he's in there, and uh, he kind of makes an off-color joke, and then the camera kind of pans to the side, and uh, sure enough, there's. A man 
hanging, like dead, like some, he had committed suicide. Yeah. And he put in the video in his vlog and uploaded it to the internet. Oh. And people are not happy. <laughs> no, that is a bit tasteless. Yeah. So in the uh, extreme. He's catching a lot of flack for that. YouTube's catching a lot of flack for that. It's just fucking crazy time right now. Yeah, it's a lot. Like I feel like these YouTube stars are like getting to that point in their life where they're like, if we got to do bigger and better things because we must entertain. Like you have PewDiePie, who paid the like, they don't, went on Fiverr, <clears throat> and like basically had like guys being like, he made a job being like, oh, make a banner that says something something about the, like a really racial banner about Jews oh. and like not like Nazi related. Oh, and um. You know, these guys went out and did it and, like, posted it. And, like, it was a huge banner they put on the side of a building, like, next to traffic. You know, in the video, he's like, I can't believe they did that. And he's, like, laughing and stuff about it. That's not funny. Yeah, and then he says the N-word. Or PewDiePie said the N-word in a couple of his videos. Like, yeah, so it's like these guys are, like, you know, and then they just kind of make, like. Yeah, but it's all about views. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you when you get get monetized, it's about views. And so it doesn't matter if it's people watching it to be pissed off. Like. At that point, like notoriety and fame, and like you know, like it's yeah, does it? it well, I mean, like that caused career, you know, like, that caused him a lot of flack though, because like, I guess, I mean, this going, it's been going for a while, like, but I guess kind of this is one of the things that broke the camel's back was you know, people are like, well, advertisers are like, well, we don't want to advertise like on you know, videos like that, like blah blah blah. So a lot of people pulled their funding. PewDiePie oh, yeah. lost his like Disney deal that he had. Oh, yeah, it, it can have big backlash, but that's yeah. the mentality behind yeah. it is. This will generate me a lot of views, and that's, you know, that's good for me. But then looking at the long term, like, maybe that video gets, you know, 10 million views or whatever. I don't know what, you know, is, is relevant versus not. You know, but then his future videos get 3 million, 2 million, 1 million. You know, like, as people start forcefully pulling out of it. So <clears throat> Yeah, I guess he posted it on Sunday. That's yeah, crazy. Yeah, he's visibly shocked, but discover, but also makes jokes when he discovers the body. Yep. Mm. No, no, no. Yeah. Fuck that, dude. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little, uh, a little rough. We got to reply. Oh, I told you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're on for computers tomorrow. <clears throat> you finally gonna get to uh, max level? Maybe. What should I make? What what will get me there? Should I make a Pandarian? No. Oh. Definitely not. <laughs> it's not really disappointed there. Oh. No. Oh. <clears throat> Monks are a lot of fun though. That being said, the monk class. Yeah. Pretty. But you can only do humans, right? Humans or Pandarians? No, no. Monks can be any class. Yeah, can be any race. Thing. I'm sorry. Um. A no monk. Yeah. Monks pretty fun. When you go Windwalker. Um, That's pretty cool. Paladin is pretty fun. Yeah, I always had fun with my Paladin. Get, get some versatility. Yeah. Yeah. Red Paladin is fun to level up. Um, Red Paladin. Retribution. Oh, Retribution, yeah. Um, to, I, I like classes where... <clears throat> like like things like Druid and stuff that you can... You have a little bit more flexibility with your roles. Yeah. Shaman used to be really fun, and they used to be like pretty good. They didn't do too hot, I think, in Warlords of Draenor. They just, they kind of felt underwhelming and their rotation got kind of messed up and it it got really challenging to kind of juggle for me like elemental and like all the different procs and things you had to balance. But in the past they've been like a really solid class. They might be good again. I don't know kind of where they're at right now. Um, Death Knight used to be my, my favorite class, but I didn't like them what they did to them in um, in this expansion in Legion. <clears throat> they just I, I felt like really squishy yeah as like a plate wearing like DPS class it just yeah. wasn't ideal okay Anna you got it got she's it. all up in that mic you gotta move your body what are you doing <laughs> um what would you say about the demon hunter is that still viable I don't know where it's at right now but I actually like demon hunter quite a bit oh my god hang on you gotta go on the floor oh I'm sorry <laughs> roll the Anna over <laughs> um demon hunter was a lot of fun I don't know that like <clears throat> I don't know that like they're like super viable right now in terms of like the rating structure and everything. Mm-hmm. Like, <clears throat> but Demon Hunter tanks are okay. They're not the best tank right now, but they're they're serviceable. Okay. Demon Hunter DPS used to be pretty solid, but they probably got kind of balanced out. Yeah. 
Um, I think what I like most about playing Demon Hunter, though, is just, like, the... They have a lot of cool, like, kind of just passive stuff. Like, you have the glide, which is really nice for just, like, cruising around. Like, I, I play solo a lot. And um, so the, the glide, the maneuverability, have, like, a dash. Yeah. Like, they have a lot of, like, cool things that way. But they're like a rogue almost so they're they're leather wearers they're like melee dps um they do a lot of like really good burst dps but they're kind of squishy they have some skills like every time you kill something they'll like drop orbs to, like you can pick up to like heal yourself but like that's mm. your heal yeah it's like you have to keep killing things so it can get a little like dicey <laughs> it can get kind of dicey sometimes versus if you play something like a druid or a paladin that has like built-in class heals like for yeah. solo survivability it tends to be a little bit better. So, um, that being said, I mean, a lot of times for the harder fights on my um, Demon Hunter, if I'm doing like a solo boss or something, you know, like, or like a Golden Elite, like, I'll just swap over to, you know, your tank mode. You don't do as much damage by any means, but you know, tank, your survivability is tank. really solid. So, <laughs> it just sort of depends on kind of where you're at. <clears throat> I'll mess with it. But they're fun. It's a fun class. I recommend you try it. I just don't know if it'll be something you'd want to. Yeah. Like, I think, Main. We, I think the only thing classes I've ever played were I had a hunter, I had a mage, and then I had a paladin. Mage is in a pretty good spot right now. Yeah. Mage is always in a good spot. Yeah, they never, never never really falls out of vogue. I just I struggle with mage. Like I've I have I used like a I used my level hundred boost that like, came with it on a mage. I'm like, I'll have a mage, like I'll check it out. And like played with it for like a little bit and I was like, Nope. Nope. <clears throat> don't like this. Can't eh. feeling it. <clears throat> so I still have my hell of a hunter mage, but I just I didn't I, I don't know, like I there's a reason I guess I didn't have one. Mm-hmm. It's because I just didn't I don't appreciate him. So is Trish grinding from one? Yeah. Wow. She's like gung ho, like she's gonna hit calf? I don't know. She's level eighteen. In a day. That's pretty good. So. That's solid. Then like a day with children. Yeah. yeah. And an infant. So I don't know, like, how much time was actually, like, devoted to it. But, yeah. I mean, she's plugging along. I'm actually really, like, I want to get back on my Druid. I had a lot of fun with my Druid. Yeah. Um, I was slogging with mine. It, um... I don't know. You get the... You get the tank, like, the rogue, the spellcaster, and the healer. Like, mm-hmm. you just have a lot of options. And none of them are, like, bad. Like, the rogue... From Druid's standpoint, is like it's not as good as like maybe like a regular like rogue in terms of DPS, but you have better survivability and like you're only like a little bit further down, I think, from like where like the you know actual like rogue would be at. Um when I left, bear form tanks were like the best tanks, hands down. Yeah. Like if you were raiding, like you had to have like a bear form tank. Interesting. Um Druid healers are always in vogue. Yeah. They're always like really solid. Um, Boomkin, guess... like the spellcasters. Their rotation got a little weird for a while, but they may have cleaned it up. I don't know. I haven't played it. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> I guess what I'm worried about is I just want to invest in a PC to play WoW. Like, so we just got to make sure so we sweet. invest in a PC to do something else, and then just happens to play WoW as well. Yeah, no, for oh, sure. Because yeah. we tend to fall out of WoW. Oh, yeah. And other games as well, like GTA. Yeah. GTA. <clears throat> but I fall out of WoW knowing that, like, I'll always go back. Yeah. It just like I'll I'll get my fill. I'll play it for like a couple of months and be like, okay, like the, another part of the problem is like because I play solo so much, like I'll finish up kind of the content that I'm like interested in, and then I'm like, well, okay, like yeah, it's done. What am I doing now? You know, like if I had a group that I played with like dedicated, I'd probably play it more often, but I just don't. Yeah. And I don't like, and then I'll like leave and I'll come back and because I haven't played and like my guild will I have it like disbanded or they kick me out. And I'm like, okay, like can't be mad you know i didn't play in eight yeah, months, been so. on in a while you're just whatever <clears throat> forever afk i think i was literally the last person left in my guild when i stopped playing wow last probably person standing yeah, yeah I don't know. so it's good stuff i'm excited to go back in it's always fun like you get that taste and you're like i could do some wow i could do it i could and then you have like a a wild like south florida party with wow for like three months and then like i can put you on a shelf for a bit you might have gotten a girl pregnant at some point but you know i'm what? nervous it's been a while it's been a while <clears> since a while. I, dipped, I dipped my toe dude sterling's <laughs> wild harder than i have so yeah it's really did i played wild, wild super I, hard for I a bit. played wild longer but you've played it more 
Mm-hmm. I have two level sense. 100 characters. Yeah. I do not. I don't even have a level 100 character. Yeah. I hit 50, no, 60. 60? I think you're like 57. Yeah, 50, 57. Yeah, I got 57. But yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. I don't know. It's it fun. We'll get into it. We'll, we'll play some WoW. So if you hear some WoW talk, let stay up to tune for our new podcast. Wow, real chubbies. Wow, real chubbies. <laughs> Coming to you soon. Oh, this sounds like something you buy at Love This Boutique. is your, you know, your one-stop shop for all things World of Warcraft and Warcraft. But uh, I think it's going to do it for episode 65, you guys. Or 66. 66. 66. Um, yeah. So like I said, if you're listening to this episode, make sure you check out episode 65 as well. Double header, like the old days, movies, you know, double feature, double listener. Um, that's all I got to say to you guys. You guys have anything you want to add? No, that's uh, <clears throat> sounds no, good. Thanks for listening. Yeah, Thank thanks you. for listening. Enjoy the rest of your week, you guys. And uh, until next time, rub a dub chub. Happy New Year. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's the third. <laughs>